Hello YouTube, I'm finally back and I have quite the things in store for you guys. Starting with my most recent and very, very intense modifications of my E100. I will also be starting a tutorial series on how to make modifications for the different vehicles I have. So you guys can be looking forward to that as well. Without further ado, let's get started. First things first, I have finally, <laughs> after much trial and error, created the Krupp 2 toy in all of its glory. I also strive to make this thing even more accurate and it took a lot. I had to sacrifice a lot of sets, sadly. But, you know, it's worth it because this is the coolest thing ever. So let's start with the front. We have the iconic front and taut cheeks, which are always penable in water tanks. The sort of my own kind of rendition of the front um, with the 150 millimeter cannon, as well as the short 75 coaxial, and the range finders. Moving on to the side, on this side we have sort of a um, ledge to hold some stuff as well as some logs and a ladder to get up to the top. And on the other side there is the German insignia and two spare track links. Moving on to the top, there is, is some sandbags, uh, one of the optics. Uh, the two hatches, some more details, and a platform to hold uh, an anti-aircraft gun. This is my own rendition. This is not supposed to represent any actual German anti-aircraft gun. So keep that in mind. And then underneath there is a, sorry for the lighting, there is a barrel um, just there on the platform. That is basically all that is on the exterior toy. Let's get into the interior. All right, so before I get into the rest of this video, I would like to um, ask that if any of you guys see something that I got wrong or missed a detail or just something I could add to it to make it more realistic, please let me know in the comments down below so I can get onto that. Now, the interior of the toilet. On the right side, there is the gunner and the commander, though on the actual side of the toilet, there is a seat for him to stand on, so he can look out of the hatch. If I remove the gunner, there is a bit of control systems over there, as well as the um, wheel to spin the breech. The breech itself is not as detailed as before. Oh, it's loose because I don't have the side platings on. Um... The breach is not as detailed as before, but I tried my best. It actually has the um, place to put in the shell, and it moves up and down with the gun. On the left side, the loader stands in the toilet bucket, and the optic guy, I don't know, maybe another gunner, um, sits here and looks through the optic, which actually, if I put this back on, would line up with the... Um, actual optic on the outside of the tank. The ammo rack is not realistic. I'm going to try to find a way to make it more realistic by removing part of this, but I'm afraid to do that because then I lose integrity to the build. Though I, I suppose I could possibly put something right here to make it more accurate. I don't know. We're just going to have to see how it goes. Um, yeah, the turret can turn full 360 and um, you can kind of access the inside of the hull through the side of the toilet, but I don't think any of the crew members will be doing any of that. So yeah, that's the inside of the toilet. A little bit less detailed than my mouse toilet, but I had to work with what I had. There was, wasn't as much space with the shrunken toilet. Another thing I worked on a lot on the uh, new variant of the E100 is the engine deck. I took a page 
quite literally out of the out of Kobe's Tiger 2 H set and made a removable top. So if you flip up this to reveal sort of the paneling like this and I pull it's just held on by two bricks but it's actually quite stable there is a full and much more detailed engine I don't think this is what the actual engine looked like but I just had a bit of fun Cre artistic crea uh, creativity so we have piping on the back here um, vents you can say these are fuel tanks uh, more piping a lot of piping uh, the main engine and part of the transmission that would carry through underneath the um, tank and the piping kind of goes underneath there underneath the uh, toilet basin now on the front here I removed the shells and instead made more of the transmission part and kind of switched out the controls he now has two levels and uh, the driver has a actual like wheel, a steering wheel to um, drive the tank. Not much happened on the front, it's more of the engine in the back. If I wanted to, I could remove the engine, but that takes a lot of time and doesn't really work well. Um, although it did take me quite a while to fit all that in, I do like the look of it, and I still think that even with the kind of flip up, I've managed to keep a lot of the detail in the back here. I can't put too much detail around here because that's where the torque spins, and you can't really have stuff blocking it. On the uh, kind of back of the hall, nothing really changed, it just added a log. And funny thing, I lost one of these, so I just made kind of this. It kind of looks cool. Makes it look a bit post-apocalyptic. Um, the side skirts were extended on that part. And one sitting here. If I, if you guys want, I could fit back on all of the side skirts. Make it look like it just rolled off of the factory. And I guess that would be cool. It would take a lot of time to find those in my Lego bag. Because um, that's not really fun to dig through. But I guess I could do it. Perhaps it would be another video. On the front heel, not much has changed. We still have the top. I added a bit more detail heel. Uh, the leaves were a big add-on. Because German tanks usually had like foliage on it. To uh, cover the tank. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I understand this was a bit of a shorter video, um, even though there was a lot of detail, but I decided to boil it down to a more easy to watch video. Um, the tutorial for the first part of how to design this will be coming out shortly, perhaps tomorrow, if I have time. If you have any suggestions on how to better improve this set, or if you want me to modify some of the other sets I will make a list in the description of all of the tanks I have. Please let me know and I will try my hardest to build them. And if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you are new how about checking out the rest of my channel. Have a great day everyone. See you in the next video.